I spent most of my morning today sending a lot of emails and trying to get some work done. But it was one of those days where I had a big elaborate plan to go explore and check out the Uinta Mountains. And then it started downpouring, like out of nowhere, it just started pouring. And usually they only last for 20, 30 minutes around here, but it has not stopped all day long. It's kind of nice because it hasn't rained all summer and a part of me is like longing for this kind of moody and gray day, but it's really threw a wrench in my entire day. I'm also trying to get my commercial drone license, so I studied for some of that. On top of that, it's been thunderstorming too, which is awesome because I feel like I haven't experienced a thunderstorm in what feels like over a year about. I've been kind of enjoying it. It's like kind of given me a reason to really stay inside and get some work done and Kind of have like one of those more like mellow coffee drinking sort of days, which has been really nice, but I'm definitely getting anxious because I want to go do something and I want to spend the day like with you guys and show you guys the area and stuff. So I think either way, I'm going to head down to Salt Lake City. I figured I'm going to take the van down there, possibly get Chipotle because there's no Chipotle up here. So get Chipotle and just hang out and just shoot some of the city at night and see what's going on down there. And then I was thinking about kind of doing like an urban stealth camping in Salt Lake City with the van, depending on how things go, which is basically just camping or sleeping in the van in the city. So that's what the van was originally built for was stuff like that. So it's very discreet. Actually liking the rain and kind of the moody weather. It's a bit different. I drove like 30 minutes down to Salt Lake City and it doesn't even look like it rained down here one bit. It's nice it's not super hot out, but it is rather windy, so I don't know if like the rain that was up in the canyon is gonna come down here. So right behind me is the Utah State Capitol building and it was built in the early 1900s. And then it was renovated in like early 2000s, I believe, for like something crazy, like 200, like 300 million dollars, which is pretty nuts. But what's pretty cool is that it can survive like a 7.2 magnitude earthquake or something like that, which is pretty insane. I don't even think we have earthquakes here in Utah, but if we did have one, this thing we'd really protect it. The architecture on this thing is like really, really cool. I don't even know like what kind of style you would call this, but I guess it's inspired by classical architecture, stuff that you found like during the Renaissance. It was inspired by Greece's Parthenon. And I don't even know what that is. And all this was made out of Utah granite, which was mined in our local Conwood Canyons, which is like right around the corner where like a lot of the ski resorts are. So that's pretty cool too, that like all this is like almost like locally sourced in a sense. And I just don't think it does it justice on the camera itself. You know, like when you're in here, especially like as you get a push through it, this thing is just a monster. So this is uh, pretty sick. That's all you have to say, it's pretty sick. I don't even know what's inside. I don't even know what this building is really used for other than it's the Utah State Capitol building. like those electric like bird scooters that you can like pick up and rent with an app i was like shooting along this road right here which is like super gravelly like kind of like tough to walk on and this chick comes like in front of me and just completely wipes out like right in front of me i was sitting on a bench and so i got up i was like can i help you and she just looked at me picked up her scooter and just like rode away she didn't say a word i think she had like headphones in or something but i was just like are you okay she was like bleeding on her knee i was just like I, I've never ridden one of those and I don't know if I really want to. I'd rather go with like a skateboard or something than use like one of those scooters. I was just like, I was baffled because she didn't really say anything. She just got up and rode away. I think she was embarrassed. But I was like, you don't need to be embarrassed because I wipe out all the time. Look how pretty that looks though. Just like all the leading lines, just like these trees with this path in the middle. You know, whenever I come down to Salt Lake City, like I said, I have to hit a Chipotle because we have no Chipotle even close to where I live. Nothing even like similar to it. Like, a, I guess we have like a Cafe Rio, but it's just not the same. Something in like that white cilantro lime rice or whatever is like so good. So I'm like super excited to shoot the night. Like night in city, I'm not like a huge city guy, but something about the nighttime in the city and like the buildings and the lights, like 
I get really, really stoked about that. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find the Chipotle. At the same time, it's like about to be like sunset. It looks like it's gonna be a really good sunset. It's like, I don't know what to do. I don't wanna just like pepper you guys with B-roll the whole time because I feel like that gets boring to watch. But I also love shooting B-roll. go to right now is just like a bowl I've been trying to like I haven't been eating any sugar lately like processed I guess like I know there's sugar and like fruit and just like kind of food in general but I've really been making it a conscious decision not to eat like drink like Gatorades or like soda or I have candy or like anything that's like like I don't need you know and I just eat for like pleasure so I've also kind of trying to cut back a little bit more on like my carb intake I love carbs I'm still eating a ton of carbs like I have two scoops of rice in here but like I just don't need two scoops of rice and the tortilla wrap. Just thought I'd share that with you guys. It's kind of like some like life stuff I'm going through, trying to be a little bit more healthier. I'm making my bed in the morning, you know, like trying to drink a lot more water, just a little stuff like that. But I've noticed like a big impact on my day-to-day -day life, which has been really, really nice. It just feels good to be in the van, you know, like I just kind of realized like how much I love just being in the van. Like I'm not really like in a national park or somewhere like really out in the wilderness, but I just love the van. I'm like, I'm stoked to sleep in here. Like, I don't even care where I sleep, but like, I want to sleep in the van tonight. And I'm probably just gonna try to urban camp somewhere down here. But anyways, I'm gonna finish the rest of this bowl. I just love shooting at night too. It's like a whole different game. Like, just like everything that you know during the day is like completely opposite using different lenses, just like different techniques. This is the scooter I was talking about from earlier that the chick just like wiped out on. You can just like leave him here, use an app and go pick it up and ride. This thing is massive and it says it's like conference center for the Church of Latter-day Saints or something like that. This thing is huge. I wonder if I can get on the roof somehow and like overlook the city that way. Probably not because it's like a church building, but that would be cool. Check out these leading lines. like. This is stuff I live for right here. Ready, check this out. Look at that. How incredible. Just one quick shot of that, ready? One, two, three. This right here behind me is the Salt Lake Temple. It's one of the largest, if not the largest, Mormon temples ever built. I think back in like the early 1800s or something like that. But I think it's going like under a renovation period like this year, maybe like in December or something. It's gonna be closed for a few years. It's gonna be pretty, crazy and I think it's built out of the same material that the Utah State Capitol building like that Utah granite quartz sort of thing so you gotta appreciate good architecture when you see it at least I do like as soon as I see that sort of stuff I'm like this is just awesome I love the leading lines and like a really well-built design you know so oh, it's awesome The next place to definitely want to check out is a public library here in Salt Lake City. Like, apparently the architecture on this one, I think that's like a theme so far. It's just like the buildings here are really, really cool and unique. So I've walked a long ways. I feel like it's walked like 20 minutes just to find this library. I think I'm getting close. These scooters are everywhere. Like every single person has them and then they're doubling up like two people on a scooter and they just rip around the city. I feel like I'm missing out on something. Run through sprinklers. Oh God. Whew. Tempo good. Look at how big these windows are, my gosh. The library looks so nice, it's massive too. I wish I could see it better. I walked like through a little more sketchy area. Like let's just say I turned my music off, which I'm doing again right now. And I'm just making sure I like watch my surroundings a little more, especially walking around with a camera, like a camera bag with a tripod on it. Like 
I'm basically just screaming, hey, I have expensive shit on me, so. And then straight ahead of me, I don't even know what this is. Check this building out now. It almost looks like a castle. Look at that. Looks like I can't camp here tonight. Damn it. Are there other cities that have architecture like this? Am I just like missing out or just not thinking of some places? Because to see like form like castles like this and buildings is like pretty insane. I just feel like I don't see these in like many other cities. Look at that. Literally like a castle. I found a spot for the night. It's like on this side road right in downtown Salt Lake. It's relatively quiet. I did stop at another spot, but it was like right on one of the main roads. Super, super noisy. So I was able to find like this kind of quiet area. It's relatively dark. There's other cars parked on the side of the street, which is all a good sign when you're like doing this stealth camping stuff. The, the pavement like isn't super flat, but it's not like really uneven either, which is a good, good thing. So all in all, I think we'll be set. I'll kind of show you like what I'm working with right now. So we have the van here. And you can see we're just like on this sort of residential area here with some other cars parked down there. There seems to be like a little park or something over there. And then one of the main roads like right there where that car is. So all in all, like not bad. It's like 1230 at night right now. So basically I'm gonna crawl in here and just crash for the night. So I'll see you guys in the morning and hopefully we don't get a knock from the cops or anything like that, but I don't think we should have any problem whatsoever. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right guys, good morning. No knock from the cops. I actually slept really, really great. I woke up a few times when there were some people walking by, but for the most part, like I slept awesome. I put like one of those eggshell crate like mattress covers over the bed as well before I left and it made like a world of a difference. The temperature was like awesome. It was just it was just a great night of sleep. So now I have to find coffee. I didn't bring like anything with me in terms of like cooking. And I need to find a bathroom because that's one thing when you're sleeping on the streets you don't have a bathroom. And I don't like to you know relieve myself on the streets and stuff like that. So those two things and we get the day started just like normal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little exploration, this urban exploration of Salt Lake City and then also trying to camp in the city itself. It wasn't really like too much like ad actually camping rather than just like pulling up to a spot and sleeping. But if you guys enjoyed the video, maybe consider giving it a thumbs up or subscribing. Sorry, I'm like literally just woke up and rolled out of bed. So like I'm having a hard time even thinking about what I'm saying. You guys get the point. I don't want to tell you what to do, but whatever. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.